it's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today I want to show you really quickly how we made a planter and a water fountain out of a couple of old um, water buckets from horses. One actually is a muck bucket, the smaller one, and then the larger one is a water trough. And we had a local place that was a barn that was moving and they were selling all this stuff pretty cheap. Um, the trough has a little bit of a crack in it and it didn't have the drain, which works perfect for my needs as a planter and I really like deep planters because it's easier to grow things like carrots or potatoes that need a little bit more depth. Um, our garden, some of the soil is pretty compacted, um, which is fine for most things because most things grow over like up, um, but for things like carrots and potatoes, they need a little bit looser soil. I don't till, so um, this works better for me. So let us get started. Here's the supplies. I found these two buckets at a yard sale from a horse barn that was moving and this smaller one is a muck bucket and I removed the handles. It's got no holes in the bottom, everything's watertight. Then I used this trough which has no drain so the water can drain out the back and that part is going to be our planter. I was nervous even with the drain being gone about water pooling in the bottom and I didn't want my roots to get rotten or to have any issues. So I did add a few drain holes to the bottom of your trough. That might not be necessary. You might be able to get away with just opening the drain and making sure that it's tilted downhill. But I did not plan to use this. This was cracked, so I didn't plan to use it for anything else. Next step is we are adding soil to this. I need enough soil underneath this bin right here so that it can set kind of a little bit higher. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. I want it to be under the lip of this or a little bit over, somewhere thereabouts, so the plants can go grow around it. I added junk soil to the bottom just to start filling up the trough because it was so big. Then I added some compost and other materials that I was okay being in here. And then I finally added a big layer of potting soil. Next, I went ahead and kind of watered everything down, made sure the soil was compacted, particularly around the smaller black bucket. I didn't want, um, I, w I wanted to make sure it was firm so I could remove the bucket if needed to clean. Um, you know, we'll see how that goes. Okay, at this point, I just filled up my bucket with water. Okay, so now I've got the water in it, I've got the soil in it. I'm going to set up my little pump for it, and I'm also gonna plant some seeds right in here. I opted to use carrot seeds in this. I really like a nice deep planter for carrots. I find that it's a lot easier to grow them, particularly if you use the right potting soil. The soil needs to be pretty loose for carrots to grow down, otherwise they get kind of caught up in the firm soil. And in our area, my garden, the soil is pretty compacted if you go too far down, so it's just not ideal conditions. So this will work well for growing our carrots this year.